Hello, you beautiful people. My name is Photon Moat, and welcome back to Let's Build a Zoo. Today, we're going to have to do some very, very sad things. First of all, I let the game run for, uh, what, two, three days or so just to build up some cash, mainly because it can't do a ton without the money, and I didn't want to just record videos of me sitting here doing nothing, essentially. So we are going to have to do likely the sad thing today um now that i'm looking at the janitors maybe i won't have to do it but let's take a look first at who we have who's applied oh <laughs> well there's our answer so yeah we're gonna have to do this sadly so our janitor marisol here our first janitor the first one we ever hired unfortunately has an awful work ethic and i believe this is a static variable let me know down in the comments if i'm incorrect and if this can change or if there's anything i can do but i'm pretty sure there's nothing i can do about it if i pay bonuses that increases their job satisfaction and their politeness but I cannot see anything that can be done to increase their work ethic at all. So, unfortunately, it looks like I'm just going to have to start hiring people with high work ethics just to avoid this situation. But we are going to have to, unfortunately, let Marisol go. Now, she has been doing great work. <laughs> But we just hired somebody with much better work ethic. So, unfortunately, Marisol, as much as I love you, goodbye. We are absolutely going to pay severance and the owed wages and everything. So that you can go off the best way possible. It is going to cost um, a significant amount, but let's let's do it. So it cost $728 to fire Marisol. But we now have two janitors with a proper work ethic. And we're going to do everything we can to avoid this situation in the future. So, yes. Unfortunately, um, that was the situation. I did not want that to happen. But, alas, here we are. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm okay with that. Perfect. We also, as I noticed, have the same situation with our keepers. So I'm going to have to save up some more money to be able to fire both Ian and Queenie. But they are the two that have awful work ethics. Everybody else looks all right. Starla's good. Dolores is good. And Jeffrey is okay enough. Maybe in the future we'll consider replacing Jeffrey. But... Yeah, unfortunately, our main issue is purely just their work ethics are low, and that's a static variable. There's nothing I can change on it. I can't pay them more money. I can't do anything about it. So, unfortunately, that is just the case. Let's see. Oh, we have uh, the nursery. We had two birds in there. They're working on that. Uh, oh, yay. Yes, okay. I, I, I knew all of that. So, wonderful. Okay. And we shall continue on. Uh, add animals to the pen. Whatever. Shut the fuck up. I don't particularly care. But the next thing that we need to do, the, the critical thing that we need to do is probably build more food shops. First of all, that's because Franny would like some more food shops to be built. But also, it'll increase our allure to customers and our profitability as well. So I am going to invest in that real fast. Let's take a look at what we have for food shops. Um, hmm. We've got the ice cream van, which I am super happy to drop in. I think having that right up front would be super, super awesome. Uh, let's see. E Yeah, we'll, we'll put that there. And... Perfect. 
And then I'm also going to drop in chocolate vendor, uh, snack vendor right there. And I really don't want to build the hot dog shop, but I think it would be beneficial to do such. So let's do that. Their work ethic isn't great, but I'm pretty sure there's nothing I can do about it. Oh, I can. Oh, I can. I can recruit a different shopkeeper. Interesting. I did not know that. Okay. Um, but let's, as of yet, <laughs> add some MSG to our hot dogs. And let's add a few more eyes and tails for our hot dogs. And, oh, shoot. There's no way to change the appearance of the shop. I was hoping so. But that's just how it goes sometimes. And we'll add 5% of seasoning for that. Okay, perfect. I think that is good and Franny's happy. So let's finish that task. $1,000. Hell yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Franny. That was much needed money. Um, oh, and we built an ice cream van, which gave us $100. I'll take it. That is perfectly fine. Give an animal. Oh, a small a rabbit. Okay, sure. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I can give you Pip Squeak. Yeah, that works. $300, not bad. Uh, apparently, oh yeah, we've hired three janitors total, so we've completed that. Hey, and we've got money again. Wonderful. Okay, perfect. So I think that is setting us up for more success in the future. And... I mean, yeah, our park is going to do quite well because of this. I do, <laughs> I desperately want to redecorate these things, but it costs so much money. So I'm going to try to keep it somewhat cheap. I'd like this to be cobbled because that just feels right to me. This area being cobbled. We made $492. Shoot. Yeah, we definitely are having issues with our zoo keepers. I'm trying my best. There's there's only so much I can do with that. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I think I'm going to make this area fully cobbled. Except for the path that I plan on extending out. So we'll do that. For now that looks relatively nice i am gonna plan on adding more uh filling this all in with grass but that'll be pretty expensive so i'm gonna hold off on that and i think we are doing okay okay yeah let's take a look at the job applicants we've got two let's see how good they are Oh, wonderful. Danny has some fantastic work ethic. So, yes, we can hire. And then, um, sorry, Dolores, but not quite there yet. Uh, and let's take a look at our animal keepers and see. Uh, Queenie, unfortunately, we're going to have to let you go because I No, they're both pretty bad. Okay. Well, Ian, we're going to have to let you go. So. And you're a lot more expensive, so we're just going to pay owed. Sorry. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> I can't really pay all. Uh, just because that would have been so much money. Uh, so. And also, you weren't cleaning up shit all day like the janitor was. So, well, I guess you were cleaning up shit all day. That's kind of your job as a zookeeper. But, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. We'll forget about it sometime in the future. Let's make sure our keepers are properly zoned. Oh, apparently Starla wasn't zoned at all. And Danny, let's see. I think we're going to have to zone people a bit heavier further out but with those higher work ethics 
that should solve most of our problems. Okay, let's see what we can do to increase profitability more. Because, yeah, we... <laughs> firing a, a zookeeper really isn't super great. But we're working on it. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. That would make a lovely belter wallet. Excuse me. Hold up. Hold up. Get the... No, not you. Herb. Get the fuck out of here. Straight up. Straight up, get out of here. You're looking at my snakes and going, hmm, I want to kill it and turn it into a commodity. No, get the fuck out of here. I'm not, not having that. Oh, dear. Let's take a look. See, we've got a new snake variant. Ooh, two new snake variants. Absolutely. And I will take a new goose variant. So let's deselect the goose, drop the snake in here, and then... And then we'll drop the goose in here. There we go. Perfect. Let's make sure we've got enough food. So we're going to pop in, buy all the food needed. And yeah, our profit's going to be a little rough. But we're, we're kind of on the uptick. We're kind of. It's obviously a struggle because I am paying all of my employees way more than the game really, really wants me to. But... Hey, that's where we're at. It's what what you gotta do, Ismail. Ah, wow, wow. None of these people have good enough work ethics. I'm gonna have to dismiss all of them just because they come in with this static work ethic. And I, ah, I wish I could adjust it. I wish I could hire everybody, but that's just how it is. And maybe the work ethic doesn't make a difference at all. Who knows? Maybe I just wasted a lot of money firing people. But uh, I'm going to assume it makes a difference. Uh, correct all of these assumptions in the comments down below. Give me that engagement. It'll be super, super useful. But yeah. I think this is coming along nicely. So we only lost a little bit of money. That's not bad at all. And we've got tons of research, which is great. Let's take a look. We're nursing. Ooh, we are going to get a new snake in this time. You know, there is one way that actually we can really, really bump up the interest in our zoo. That is with this. The CRISPR splicer. Which, holy shit, I cannot afford right now. It gave me a little bit longer. That'll be a grand to place down, and then it's going to be pretty pricey to pay the employee. But we can get that done. So we're going to... We're so close. We're so close to doing this well. The second everybody gets hungry and has a little, oh, fuck, I need to eat symbol, the keepers are getting in there with the food. Her... Oh, no, maybe that is... Oh, we're happy. We got. We get to eat. Fuck, I don't know. Whatever. It's fine. We will just continue on with what we've got. Trying my best. Trying my best. That's the thing. I'm just trying my best. Let's see. Are we able to get everybody? Uh, is there any way I can look? at the transport history? I don't think so. Yeesh. Yeah, we're not really getting many people into the park. I think we are falling short on that. So let's see if we can get more people into the park somehow. I think these transport icons are the ones we're going for. That's not great, honestly. I think this would actually be really, really big getting the release hub just because it would be cheaper and give us more morality points, but there's nothing I can do about it. Eh, because we don't have enough morality points to even use it. Is there anything... Reduce pregnancy time. 
down to a day. That's impressive. Mm -hmm. We could add a tropical juice shop. I don't know. I think the subways are going to be important. Yeah, let's unlock this just to see what's behind it. Oh. Oh. Oh, a factory. Abattoir. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. That's not... That's not what I was hoping to get from that, but that's okay. That's okay. Okay. Well, let's, um, let's see what the subways offer us. I know they offer the ability for people to move around the zoo, but I think, I think the biggest benefit, yeah, is, is that our staff will move around using the subways. And this is going to be super beneficial. $2,000. Holy shit. That's so expensive, though. That's so expensive. But if I could get a, a subway over into this quadrant and then put a subway here, I mean, it's going to be so beneficial. It's just, yeah, that's so, so expensive. All right. Is there any way I can look at the heat maps of, like, visitor... Kind of happiness. Yeah. Not really. Light bin decoration drinking water. The morality just shows me that. Any morality bonuses that I've got? Uh, not yet, really. Not yet. <laughs> um hmm oh is there a way to make snake skin out of the snakes that's awesome <laughs> that is awesome okay we're about to get a few more animals which is fine they're new variants let's take a look at breeding oh that was the pregnancy progress shoot we're in nursing progress right now oh well can we afford the genetic? Let's do it. Let's buy the crisper splicer. I think we're gonna make this super cool. 634. You know what, actually? I'm not gonna. I'm gonna pay you the market rate just because your work ethic is friggin' awful. And then we're immediately gonna try and hire somebody different. <laughs> because that's not great. That's not great. But, up until then, uh, so much money. I think I wasn't getting those payments for oh good we were able to gather everybody i think i wasn't getting those payments for the crisper splicer until i i put it down but let's see oh oh you just got me a new task shoot shoot i thought you were gonna give me money am i getting that money Oh my god. The ducks. Okay, hold up. A robo lion? No, I don't really have an interest, especially since it's not a foe. Holy crap. One sec. One sec. Alright, the animals are currently struggling. Uh, I believe. We're good here. We're good here. I think it's the geese again that are getting overwhelmed. Yeah, the geese. Because there's so many fucking geese. I have so many fucking geese right now. Um. Yeah. You're just whining about my geese. All right. Come on. Calm down. Calm down. 
All right, let's make sure we've got enough food. Let's... Oh, what do we do? If I euthanize them... I don't want to. I don't want to kill my geese. But... I have so many of them, and it'll cost so much money. No, I need to donate them. I will not feel okay to, to just cap my geese. Okay, let's sort them by variant. We'll get rid of one of these two. We'll get rid of the these two. We'll get rid of the oldest of these two. Karma's the only goose of their type. But they're gonna fucking die soon anyway. Of course, Tally and Kona are the same type of goose. Or the same gender, so they're not a breeding pair. Panthers, they're the only type. Chi Chi is getting a little up in the up in the ears here. Let's just leave a breeding pair, these two, the youngest. Uh, and then let's just leave a breeding pair right here. $300, but this will take care of all of the issues that we've got with this enclosure. So, ugh. all right, all right, we're doing okay. I, I could euthanize, not euthanize them. I could give them contraception, but don't really want to. So it's fine. It's fine. I just, I think it's immoral to in, unless it's for their health, which in this case it's not. It's not for their health or welfare. It is purely just because I don't want to donate a ton of them. Um, I don't think we should give any of them contraception. So, yet. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, <laughs> but let's get these wooden planks down, and then I will make the rest of this prettier later when I have the money. But right now, I just don't. I could clone animals, which actually might be super beneficial for getting more breeding pairs. Oh, look, I got the little, oh, oh, I got a new variant. That's so expensive though. So, so sponsive. Um, and the only one I have is, is the geese. I've only unlocked enough geese. So we cannot edit anyone other than that. So we can't, splice any animals as of yet but we could clone some animals to try and unlock variants and we shall see but as of yet can't really afford much of any of that so we're just gonna continue with as as we are and hopefully we are going to oh I was like We've sold all of the tickets because it's nine in the morning. <laughs> That's why. Um, hopefully we can just keep our money ticking up. It'll be curious. It'll be curious. We'll see what I can do. I am really starting to push the limits of what I can pay my employees and get away with while still being sustainable. But I fully believe I can do it. I fully, fully believe that I can grow the zoo and I can be sustainable by paying my employees as much as the game will let me and still be okay. So, yeah, that's uh, that's it for another episode of Let's Build a Zoo. I built a CRISPR splicer uh, a little bit too early. I was hoping it would give me a nice little bonus uh, influx of, of cash, but... It didn't, so that's kind of not great. And I haven't gotten any applicants to the geneticist job who hopefully have a much better 
Uh, work ethic. I'm just, I'm not gonna hire people unless they have fantastic work ethics. So I might hire you, Eloise, because you look fantastic. But yeah, I think that'll be good. So we'll take a look at that later in the next episode. But until then, thank you all very much for watching. This has been Photon Moat with Let's Build a Zoo. Hopefully very, very soon we will have some abomination of an animal to show in our zoo. And finally, finally kind of get to the, the whole thing that's exciting about this game, which is creating spliced animals. So join me next time. To hopefully view our first very very curious creation